Welcome, namaste. Today we'll be doing a balance flow and exploring Garuda Mudra and a Tibetan word named Pali that deals with discernment. So unroll your mat and we'll weave all that together in just a moment. So I picked up one of my Pema Chodron books this morning. I kind of have them scattered around the house sometimes. And often I'll just open it up and it's always what I need to read. And today she was speaking about, and I was remembering about this concept called Payu. It's P-A-Y-U, it's a Tibetan word that means discernment. So this is discernment being able to when we can be really aware and then actively choose with agency which way to go. As humans, we're so often caught up in our patterns and we just do the thing that we've always done because it's the easier thing. But when we pull back and we want to have more freedom and choice in our life, we do need to use this discernment to decide which way to go, to scoot back and have some perspective. So this also then got me thinking about um, Garuda, which is the Hindu mythical eagle. And Garuda and the eagles, you know, they're flying in the sky and they get this really broad perspective and they're able to see things from a vantage point of a broad perspective, of a wise perspective. So often when we can pull in some Garuda energy, it is this gathering of perspective, this pausing, stepping back and using Payu, discernment. So Garuda and Payu, we're on the mind this morning, so we'll bring it into our practice. So Garuda Mudra, you may have done this before. You can take your hands out. Sometimes it's hard in the beginning, but you'll get it, I got faith. And then you're gonna connect the, the thumb pits, the pits of your thumbs, connect them together. And then turn, rotate the palms towards your heart, and then place them on your hands. I mean, place your hands on your heart, yeah. So again, connect, flip, and there you go, Garuda Mudra. So closing the eyes down, the heart moving towards the hands, the hands moving back into the heart. Maybe taking a moment to think of somewhere in your life where maybe you have some patterns that you're realizing that are there, some conditioning, some things that are repetitive and are not helpful in your world. And it's the first piece to become aware, but then we really want to step back and gather perspective and gather discernment of how to navigate from there. As we move in our practice today, there'll be a few balance poses. And just a remembrance of, you know, we can't, really find our balance until we lose it a few times. So this path of Payu and this path of humaning, it's normal to get shifted off. It's just about how we find our way back. Full inhale. Full exhale. And let the hands fall down and turn them away from you. Keep the thumbs hooked and bring them up over the head. Maybe the eyes stay closed. Bend the elbows. Hands are wide. Thumbs are hooked. And then find some movement in the spine. So make some big spinal circles. Thumbs are actively pulling away from one another, just getting a lot of resistance in the body. And finding some nuance in the spine. My dog, Teddy, he's just like, he loves it out here. He's just throwing himself from one side to the other. And then release the thumbs. The right hand comes down, left arm comes up, big reach. Reach through the fingers, root the left sit bone down. And coming back up, switching sides. Right sit bone plants. The left arm or the right arm reaches, reaches, reaches. And come back to center. 
Let's roll over the knees or wave the, the legs behind you and come in to, actually, let's not do that. Let's actually sit back onto the hips. Place the hands behind you and you can turn them either way. Maybe you turn the fingers towards you, maybe you turn them behind you. And let's take a reclined or a, a seated pigeon. I don't do this one that often. So plant the right foot down and you can have it farther out in front. It might be more accessible and it'll be more intense the closer that you have the foot. But the left uh, leg will come up and over. So you find where you wanna be. Maybe start with it long and then bring it in. Soft bend in the elbows, roll the shoulders back and pull the heart forward towards the shin. So the shin and the heart moving towards one another, left foot flexed, soft bend in the elbows, steady breath. So this week in my Emerge course, we've been talking about, specifically about patterns and samskara. A samskara is an unconscious habituation, something that we do so often that we don't even know that we do it sometimes. And we all have these. They're neutral, positive, and some cause us a lot of grief. And so when we begin to realize what they are, first step, that we get to you know, maneuver around them. So these are some concepts that we've been talking about in this week. I always find it so fascinating and continue to see these patterns that come up in my life. And we have them in our practice too. Do we tend to always avoid certain things or tend to move towards certain things or Yeah, and start to see them everywhere. And then slowly reach the right leg all the way long and just take a forward fold. Simple move forward. Relax the head. And slowly come up. Let's take a twist. So. This might be a little bit different. Leave the legs as they are. The left hand, the back of the left hand will come on the sole of the foot. If you're feeling frisky, you can take the left elbow there. Yeah? Hands come to heart center. Or take the left, if, you, if, you're, if your hand is there, then draw the right arm back like it's a bow. And take a big opening, big twist. This feels really good. If you want to intensify here a little bit, then you can press the right hand as if it's into an invisible wall. And slowly release, let's switch sides. So left leg goes long-ish, sole of the foot's on the ground though. Hands behind and seated pigeon. So the right ankle comes on top of the left knee and then maneuver, use your discernment and maneuver your left foot where you'd like it to be. So we don't want to round the back. So like in this case, I can bring my leg really close, but my, my back is collapsed, my chest is collapsed. So I can move it out a little bit, soften the elbows, and then roll the heart forward. So this would be a more integrated pose. More what we're looking for. More what, um, well, it depends on what you're looking for. Maybe you're not looking for that. Breathe into the sensation. Likely it's different on each side. Two more rounds of breath. And then slowly lengthen the leg all the way out. Either the back of the right hand or the right elbow to the sole of the foot. Hands together at heart center, or you're taking the bow and drawing it all the way back. Maybe gaze follows. Maybe the hand presses into an invisible wall. Steady breath. And slowly release. Now let's come into tabletop, however you'd like to get there. Some organic movement, wiggle around. And then place your hands firmly down, spread your fingertips wide. Tuck the toes 
And begin to lift the knees and let the hips guide you back, downward facing dog. Make some movements here, stretch open. Inhale, the right leg lifts. Soft bend in the left knee, pull back on the left hip crease, so squaring the hips just a little bit. And then exhale, knee to nose, step in between the thumbs. Let's plant the back knee down. And then inhale, lift the heart up, float the heart up, up, up. And exhale, plant the hands down. Big step up, L shape. Soft bend into the right knee, pull back on the right hip crease. Left leg is reaching back, toes are spread. Finding a little bit of buoyancy here. And then exhale, the left foot off the right side of the mat. Arms sweep back, curtsy pose. And then press down through the feet, arms lift up, side stretch here. Big opening. Again, buoyancy in the knees. And then exhale, wave the hands down. Big step back, left foot to the back of the mat. Tripod down dog. Right toes come all the way up and back. And then exhale again, knee to nose, and then listen up. We're gonna bend the left knee, take the right foot over the left knee, and sit back into a figure four downward dog. Steady breath. Bend the knee, hips move up and back. Quite a bit of sensation here for me. And then slowly release downward facing dog. Let's wave forward plank pose. The knees plant, the elbows soften and then reach the heart forward. The thighs will come down and the heart will come down. We're gonna wave it down. Inhale, low cobra. Tops of the toes, pubic bone press down. And then press back downward facing dog. Moving right along, inhale, left leg lift, soft bend in the right knee, pull back on the right hip crease. And then exhale, chest to the belly, knee to the nose, step all the way through. Back knee softly plants, just one breath here. Press down, lift up, Anjaneyasana. And exhale, hands plant. Move them up in front of the mat a little bit. Press down and lift up L shape. Keep the hips square, pull back on the left hip crease, reach the toes, spread them wide. And then slowly, right toes off the left side of the mat, wave the hands back, curtsy pose. Hips reach in one direction, heart reaches in the other. And then press down to lift up. Left hand grabs right wrist, big side body stretch. One more inhale, and then exhale. Sink the hips back, reach the arms towards the left, and then wave them down. They kind of gently melt. Right toes step to the back of the mat. Tripod down dog, lift up and back. And then knee to nose. Bend the right leg this time, figure four, downward dog. Really making a shelf for the leg with the right knee. Maybe a wiggle in the hips, steady breath. One more. And downward facing dog. Inhale, right toes lift. And exhale, round the back to make space for your step up, the back knee plants. Inhale, lift the heart one breath. And exhale, hands plant down. Them in front of the mat just a little bit to blocks or to the ground, L-shape lift up. Bend into the standing leg. And then lift the arms up into a cactus. Like you're drawing energy up through the palms here. And then press down through the standing leg so you're coming all the way up. Pull the knee to the chest and reach the arms up. Exhale, 
Figure four in the legs. Sink the hips back, hands draw to heart center, and take Garuda Mudra here. Heart pressing into hands, hands pressing back into heart. Sink the hips low. Continue to pull the heart forward and up. Inhale, the arms go wide. Press down into the standing leg so that you're standing up. And then wrap the left leg all the way around into eagle legs. Arms are gonna wrap as well. Eagle arms. Woo! Right arm on top of the left arm, left leg on top, sink down. So the toes can be down. Send the hips back. Find your version of the pose. You can also take the arms or you could take the mudra. So two different versions there. Both, both we can use the intention of gaining perspective, gaining discernment. And wherever you are, unwind. Inhale, knee lifts up, arms lift up. And then exhale, hands come down to the ground as the left leg steps back slowly into an L shape. Slowly comes back to the back of the mat. And then tripod down dog, reach up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. And then wrap the right leg around the left leg. Bring the back heel down, bend into the leg. So eagle wrap with the legs, side plank. Right hand presses down, left arm reaches up. Many variations of this. You can also take it as a, like a figure four side plank. And then the left hand comes down, downward facing dog. Inhale, wave it forward. Knees find the ground, elbows soften, wave thighs, pelvis, heart down. Inhale, higher low cobra. Reach heart up and exhale, downward facing dog. Press down through the right foot so the left leg can lift up, up, up. And exhale, bring thigh to chest, knee to nose, step it through. Slowly bring the knee down, inhale, lift up one breath, rise. And exhale, plant the hands out in front just slightly. Press up, L shape. Pull back on the left hip crease to get some squareness, some stability. And then begin to lift the arms up, like you're drawing up. And then begin to press down into the left foot. If you're shaking, if you come out, it's totally fine. Slow move to pull the right knee up into the chest. Arms reach up. And then exhale, figure four, sink the hips back. Ardha Utkatasana half chair as well. Woo! Look at something that's not moving or you're likely to lose your balance. Maybe the mudra at the heart, bringing to mind somewhere where perspective and discernment could be a powerful tool. And then inhale, lengthen the left leg, arms go wide, eagle legs and eagle arms. Left arm on top as the right leg wraps. Your version here. Squeeze everything in towards center. And the lower you go, actually, the more stability that you'll have here. Everything pulling towards core, integrating. Next inhale, slowly unwind. Knee comes up, one leg mountain, arms lift. And then slowly shifting the leg back as the heart pours forward, bend in the standing leg, maybe as slow as you can, hands find the ground. Working with moving slow, step all the way back, back of the mat. Tripod down dog, left leg finds its way back and up. And exhale, knee to nose. So welcome to take the figure four downward dog here or wrap the leg all the way around into eagle pose and then bring the heel down to open up into a side plank. 
It can be nice to really reach the sit bones back and the heart forward and up to get some stability here. Maybe cactus the top arm, drawing energy through the hand. And exhale, slowly unravel, downward facing dog. Let's walk the feet towards the hands. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold down twice like that, twice more with your breath. Every inhale getting longer, and exhale, melting further. Next time you lift up, bend the knees so the hips can come back. Hips to heels, hands to the knees, more balanced pose here. Maybe hands to heart. And slowly sinking back and coming all the way down into the back. Bring the feet to the chest. Rock it. And let's extend. Extend long. Palms lift up. About five deep rounds of breath here. Inhale, let the ribs expand. You can imagine like tracing the, the bottom ribs 360 degrees around. Letting them expand on the inhale and then exhale, melting into the earth. You're welcome to stay right here for as long as you'd like. You can also slowly move up into a seat to close with me. And if you're moving, moving slow, slowest that you've moved, I'll practice. And then one last time, Garuda Mudra. Heart into hands, hands back into heart. Just this intention and remembrance that we do have some agency. <laughs> and our agency lies in being able to pause and being able to you know, gather perspective and choose. And to remember that we have a tendency to do the thing we always do but we also have the opportunity to do something different. So. One more inhale together. And release, audible exhale. <sighs> Once more like that, make it even louder. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed that class. I'll be, um, I've got plans for that class. I'm gonna extend that into a fuller practice and that'll be out on CCY Studio. So if you're interested in, in taking longer classes and extending these practices, then head over there. 14 day free trial and lots of, um, yeah, different explorations. So I'd love to have you over there. And thank you for joining me today and thank yourself for carving out the space not always easy to do. So, namaste. <laughs>